Hello and welcome to the Jag. Rob, a friendly guy from Facebook, the Jaguar group in the Netherlands, offered me his Jaguar to try out some software. And that is the iPace Power Cruise Control from Italy. Look at this, it's telling me exactly what will happen. I will tell you some more at the charger. Boom! Can drive as fast as we want. So, calculate travel. And then I want this to show up in Google. All right, let's try it again. Let me show you the sixth share driving commercial by Jaguar. How do you like them apples? Or do you prefer the silver one with the big wheels? Yeah, certainly makes more sense, but uh, it doesn't come at 27 cents a minute, the silver one. Oh, you're loud. Let's shut you up. So let's see if I can get this cruise control to actually help us. Maybe not. Cancel. Pretty cool these statistics in the Jag. I normally, normally don't really know what's going on. But now you can actually see it happening. The road is pretty, pretty empty here so I can pretty much do whatever without disturbing anyone. So the question is, is the battery now 30 degrees? Is that what this is supposed to mean? 29 degrees. 29 degrees should be a beautiful temperature to charge, right? Alive and kicking the fast chargers at Shell Hare in Breukelen. And look at this. There's actual people on the terrace of Starbucks. Are we back in a normal world? Too early to tell, but uh, it definitely seems to look like it. Meanwhile, I still have 17%, which is too much if you ask me. And I got a congratulations that I reached the destination and I got the battery up to 30 degrees by behaving like a lunatic. No, I didn't, but I tried. Uh-huh. Does the Tesla want to charge or park? So let's see how fast the Jaguar is to boot up. I will check out Ionity de Kroon in Nieuwegein. But right now the phone seems to think we're on a bike. So the boot up time of this system, not too impressive. Working. What do you? Ah, 
We will reach our destination with 8 kilowatt hours it seems. BP de Kroon. Oh yes. 21 kilometers. See you soon. So, power cruise control for the Jaguar I Pace. Let's try HJ Nieuwegein. So, this is a restaurant on the other side of the road. What's going on? So, here you can see the terrain. I'm gonna press calculate travel. Just need to go across the bridge and go back. I can choose different styles, and as you can see, there won't be much difference. Obviously, I want the fastest driving style. I say yes, and here we go. So, I should arrive with still almost 8 kilowatt hours left because it's so close. The gum says 41, but we know more. We know that I have exactly 9.2 kilowatts left and that the battery is at a whopping 32 degrees. It is 27 degrees outside, so I'm not surprised. Time to start driving and hook this thing to a charger. Ciao. So look at this. I got the battery up to 34 degrees. A gum is showing 31. But we know that we have 7.3 kilowatt hours exactly. And that is pretty much as expected, even though I tried racing it. But obviously, 6 kilometers of racing doesn't help anything. You remember my charging video I made a couple of weeks ago? Maybe you do. I'm at Ionity Nieuwegein yet again with the Jag that's there at Fastnet and Ionity is not free anymore so from now on Fastnet might be busier again this is a good day for Fastnet and a good day for uh, competitive pricing at fast charge locations because obviously if you know that Fastnet will give you energy for 59 cents at high speed then yeah no reason to go over there for more money right that uh, what is also a bit crazy is that if you well you can see that if you go out of this gate technically nothing is stopping you from using this mid mid road to go right over there and then enter the Ionity location still not really how you would like your traffic flow to be next to the highway uh, this is why fastnet doesn't like the idea of too many fast chargers in the same uh, location we're at the knoest fastnet and ionity the knoest at nieuwegein netherlands i'm trying out the power cruise control app on the Jaguar I-Pace that Rob was so kind to borrow me for the day. It is a beautiful car and the app is also very nice. It's not that, not that pretty, but it is very useful. The newest fastnet in the Netherlands is at Tafel Bergweg number 10 in Amsterdam. And since my gum is predicting 31 kilometers Let's try power cruise control, if it's easy to get there. What does it tell me? I will have zero kilowatt hours left at my destination if I drive 80 kilometers per hour. Hmm, that's a bit scary. So maybe, maybe this is too scary to do. So if I try the charge options, what? how does that work? If I say I will go very slow, 
A very low battery strategy. Expert mode. Only if strictly necessary. Charge a little bit more if possible. Okay, I will charge more. I'm sorry. Well, it was a nice idea, right? Let's do a small fast charging test here now that I'm at Fastnet and have the battery temperature at 34%. Okay, here I am at Fastnet the Knoost. And I got the Meingau card from the guy that's driving this Jaguar. It did not work. So luckily, I brought my own Meingau card as well. And yes, my Mango card does work. Well, I don't mind paying for some energy, but I am surprised that his card didn't work. Let's see what happens. So, this is power cruise control on the Jaguar I-Pace. This is what the car is showing the average consumer. And this is what power cruise control is showing. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I don't know what made the charge drop already. But apparently it's not my lucky day. Because as you can see, we're not at the high speed anymore. So actually, that means that I can drive off to the next fastnet and see what happens there so this is interesting because it's a live prediction so as long as it's showing orange it's not really convinced that we should do this but since the actual allowed driving style is now 100 kilometers per hour in the Netherlands and obviously a buffer of 2.6 kilowatt hours is more than enough for me. I don't mind choosing that one. But I think that when it arrives at 3 kilowatt hours it will change in color. So I'm showing this to you also because I I'm as new to this app as you are. This is power cruise control for the Jaguar IPIS. Hmm. So, ready to go. Let's stop this charge. Good enough for now. Four minutes. Four minutes, 20 seconds, almost six kilowatt hours. So the question is, will we arrive with the predicted statistics? Not if I go racing, which I want, because it's not allowed. The more the car drops down, the more you're using, the more it goes up, the cheaper economy-wise you're driving. Congratulations, reached the destination successfully. Well, I was a bit early, but apparently this address the charge map is using for the fastnet station the address shows at the other side of the road so sort of out of bounds location hello fastnet ah these rmc guys are happy that this station is here look at them two eagles so you would think that arriving with 35 degrees battery temperature, 28 degrees outside would be the perfect moment for a fast charge, 6% in the battery. I'm gonna try of course, but I'm not convinced at all because of the earlier result today at the other Fastnet location. Also, I have a charging card here that might not even might not even work because it didn't work at the other location either these cables are not even that heavy oops 
geen gelden gepast. Well, that is sad. Luckily, I have my own hidden somewhere here. Kies een stekker. Okay, yeah, but which one do I have? So there's room for four. I would guess I'm that one. Wow, this machine is so fast to tell you immediately that there's six percent left in the battery, which is true. Initializing. And here is the power cruise control app. So, on the display, I do not... Huh, that's interesting. It doesn't even start at 100 kilowatts. What, what's going on today? Is it too hot? Should I have... I was already driving slowly. I don't get this anymore, do you? Really interesting. Uh, yeah. In all my time with the Jaguar I Pace, I cannot say that not even 80 kilowatts. It's almost weird. Oh, look, this is funny in the screen. You can see our, our charging session and the fast net display at the same time it doesn't seem to be perfectly balanced uh, maybe a firmware fix but yeah how long will I charge so we know that later today this car will go to Rewek So I'm calculating travel to Rilwek. Requesting travel options. So you can see that for the owner of the car to arrive home without any charging, I still need to charge 8 kilowatt hours here. But since I will also go back into the city, Obviously, I need some more. This is what I mean. The, the digits are all going through the Fastnet commercial. But anyway, at 78 kilowatts, I'm not disappointed so much as surprised, I guess. Very pretty. Very pretty. One of the cool functions at Power Cruise Control for the Jaguar i is that it, show, it teaches you a lesson. If you would drive 60 to 70 kilometers per hour, the owner of the car could already reach his house with the charge that we have in the vehicle right now. And as you can see, it just changed to so you can even drive between 70 and 80 kilometers per hour now. So it really teaches you that driving style matters. Even though, hmm, well, the Jaguar display doesn't even boot up. Oh, so actually, charging is a bit faster than it begun at 77 point something. Now it's a 79. Nothing uh, that a Model 3 or an Audi driver uh, is scared of. But in the Jaguar from 2018, not too shabby. So the gum shows 59 kilometers, 15 percent. But as you can see, you can now already reach Rewijk in the Netherlands if you drive 90 kilometers per hour or slower. So I like that it gives you this uh, this lesson in driving style. Also, the terrain function is very cool. Obviously, in the Netherlands, it doesn't really mean much. But when you're on holiday, this line will not be flat. 
can tell you that. And all the data of the battery, it's going up to 36 degrees even. Now, weird that it doesn't charge faster. It didn't even start at 100 kilowatts. But I would have expected it to do that for two minutes at least because that's quite the usual treatment you get in the Jaguar. A lot of convertibles today. But apparently not today, which is okay. I'm not in a hurry. See you later. You can hear the cooling, active cooling starting. It's at 80 kilowatt of charging speed. And even my phone is getting hot. So yeah, it's definitely a really hot day. The Jag thinks it's very hot as well. Time to stop the charge, get some food. See you later. So look at this, the battery climbed all the way up to 38 degrees. Whew. It is a hot day. And it's also cool because now, thanks to power cruise control, you can see that just by having the air conditioning on, this is obviously a stupid idea if you have the door open, Felix. Thanks to having the air conditioning on and the other systems, you're already using almost two kilowatts of energy just by, you know, being here. The engine isn't even on, nothing. I know there is no engine, but whatever. Um, I didn't, you know, yeah, the buttons, it's all. Just by having the screen and all the, all the systems powered up, not even listening to music, you're already using 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8 kilowatts. It's now dropping a little bit, maybe it's relaxing again. So yeah something to think about uh, when you're in a parking lot enjoying your air conditioning. Welcome to the Jaguar I-Pace that I could borrow from Rob. Thank you Rob. He met the people behind Jaguar Power Cruise Control. This app that you can now just get for Android and that shows you how far you can go and where you should charge. There's very little settings. I hope there will be more in the future because then you will be able to save more preferences. But let's say I would like to visit some friends in Delfshaven, Rotterdam today. And I'm not fully charged. So I'm thinking that I could need some help with that. Delfs have in Rotterdam, hello. Calculate travel. Let's put on the air conditioning. So, I cannot make it in a normal way or I can I can make it in a dangerous way or I can just drive the legal speed limit so actually I can just go and it will warn me it will warn me that I have to uh, be careful because if I don't drive slow we will not make it so charge more so I do a multi-charge travel plan I say that my minimum charge that I accept is a hundred kilowatts. Mm, yes. So then it shows me all the stations on the route, three fastnet locations. So if I select that Bosport one, I can activate it like this. I can say how long I want to stay there, well not long, and I press start. And it tells me how much I will have at Bosport, and 
am with the amount that I will arrive in Delft's Haven. And I can send it to Google Maps. Google Maps is active on Android Auto. But it's actually showing... Ah, yeah. Yeah, so I just get guidance to the Fastnet station. And over there, you get the new directions to your final destination. And while you're driving, you see the images as shown before. And depending on your driving style, the car will move up and down. The lower the car goes, the more you're using consumption-wise. The lower your state of charge will be when you arrive at the station. Very easy. It knows about all the important chargers. So I can really recommend it to people driving the Jaguar, especially on long distance travel so I will delete this travel plan and show you one more let's say I visit friend, friends that run the Neo store in Antwerp I'm curious if it's already in there and it is I say calculate travel officially we're not allowed to cross the border but I've heard many rumors that you can just cross the border no problem. And I see Belgian license plates every day so it's also a bit of a, a bit of a joke. Multi-charge travel. Then again I select my minimum charging spe speed that I would like to receive. Hmm. Why? Why is it grayed out? So yeah, sometimes stuff happens. And I don't really know what to say. I also don't think that this is actually true. There are other stations on the road. So if I change the minimum to 50 kilowatts, it's actually workable. But yeah, I'm not convinced that the app is actually really right in this regard anyway you still get the idea of what you can do you can have a lot of fiddles this is weird okay so I yeah so you can see the outcome depending how long you stay at fastnet at the border you can see the percentage that you will arrive with in Antwerp. So I like that part a lot. Because it gives you the opportunity to charge shortly. Another test run with power cruise control on the Jaguar I-Pace. Let's say I want to visit some friends in the south of Germany, close to Switzerland. This is what the terrain looks like. Quite cool that you can see that you will climb to around 700 meters. Very important because it will change consumption locally drastically when you're further on the trip. So obviously this will be a multi-charge travel plan. And obviously I want only the fastest chargers. So I'm going to select 100 kilowatts. So you can see that it gives two choices. Although I'm not really sure why it shows these two fast nets. And the Hakkelaar is at the wrong side of the road. So it's not a great beginning. Let's choose Honswijk because I know that the other one is at the wrong side of the road but how would you find out well that is interesting if I press the question mark nothing happens so okay this is also a bit scary that you need to choose, choose between east and west obviously we will travel south so it's gonna be on the west side I, and I've also been here in the past but still you know I wonder if I change this a bit 
Okay, so we won't make it if we change to little. So we're gonna stop at Ionity and afterwards we will charge at Fastnet so we need less charging time and we can still make it. We even need le well half an hour charging break is okay, right? So let's do half an hour there. Fastnet has a great pizza place. So actually we could change the, this to even less. Uh, but then it thinks that we won't make it to Fastnet. So a little bit more. Then we use Fastnet to charge up a lot. Yeah. And afterwards... We'll just take the furthest one, Pforzheim, so you actually don't know what kind of station that is. You might be a Lego, ENBW, stuff like this. So it's not perfect yet, maybe the eye will tell me. Hmm. Yeah, then I will browse the internet, so right now I don't want to leave the app. Uh, so hopefully if in the future the app can show a bit more what to expect over there so we'll choose the west side here oh but no we don't even need to if I don't mind to arrive in Constance with 14% then I don't mind then I can just press start so this is what the travel plan looks like obviously this means that we would start right now I'm not gonna do that but it gives you a good impression of the actual times although I wonder if traffic is calculated in this so I press home spec <coughs> it goes from charger to charger and every time when you're charging you can see the actual charging speed like I showed you in the other video and then you can decide on staying a bit longer or not and the app will just fluctuate with you so the nice part is really that it has so much statistics of the car in the car um, so if you go here if you go to this screen it shows you all the geeky information you could ever wish for the Jaguar I-Pace and this is all thanks to the OBD machine under the steering wheel oh yes so yeah you can see that the battery is still very hot even though I have been out of the car for an hour and when you're charging or now when I'm using the air conditioning I can even see what it cost so I can recommend anybody driving the iPace to get the OBD controller that you can order on Amazon from the power cruise control people comes straight from Italy it's not expensive right now it will cost you around 25 euros and I think there will be um, there will be a yearly fee to keep the app updated uh, but you will have to check that on the website because I'm not sure what um, what the pricing of that will be but yeah I really love that people try to make this car better and yeah, the people behind this app are actually doing so. So once more, it just shows you what to do. It shows you how to behave. You can see the terrain. And yeah, depending on where you live and where you drive a lot, it might even be more useful than, uh, than anything else. Obviously, it's set to the car that we're using. This shows that we have actual connection going on and the car will indicate <coughs> the higher the car is in the screen the better the lower your consumption so um, yeah it also shows that if you go full throttle when you're in Germany on the highway you might get into the red zone so here if there's a danger of you running out of juice this changes colors and uh, then the deeper you dive the scarier it gets but 
the reality is that thanks to this app you will always exactly know what's going on with the battery and you will always be able to adjust your driving behavior to that and this is uh, a knowledge that is very useful to have so I really liked to have the app today when I was driving around the Netherlands to visit a couple of Fastnet, Ionity and Shell recharge stations the whole video will be up soon see you later Okay. Hele goede reis, Rob. Heel erg bedankt.